guys welcome to a brand new vlog as you can tell by the title i am going to sell all our furniture well at least attempt to right i'm just going to take a bunch of pictures of everything put them on offer up put them on facebook marketplace put them wherever and i'm just going to try to sell every single thing that we have in this house before enrique comes back which is november 30th so the reason we're selling everything enrique is like just do it, just sell everything. So far he's saying he sees a lot of potential in that job and he thinks it's gonna go, he didn't see why it would, wouldn't work out. So he said, just go ahead and sell everything. That'll make things easier when we move. So yeah, it's kind of stressful, honestly. I mean, we did think of just like renting a U-Haul and driving all the way there, but it's just, you know, we're not in love with this furniture, honestly. And I don't know, I kind of wanted to start fresh, you know, out with the old and with the new. I don't mind it. It's just the selling process that's stressful, obviously. So, yep, today we are going to take lots of pictures and see what we can sell. What's up, everyone? Enrique here with a quick update of uh, the Texas situation. So I got here on Thursday, Just got, uh, we just got to an Airbnb that they were renting, it was just a two bedroom and there's uh, seven guys living in there, so it was chaotic. I got there and started staying at, in the living room, which was not fun because all of my stuff had to be like out there. We moved from there, now we're actually renting a three bedroom apartment. And this is the name of the company, Airs and FCS Service. It's a sales related job. I used to do sales in uh, Cancun, I did telemarketing, but other than that, I still miss my ladies, I miss Victoria, I miss Kareni. Yeah, that's it. I'll keep you guys in our update soon. We just got a bunch of food and stuff. So we basically cook for everybody. Well, not for everybody, whoever gets to eat. And then the lazy motherfuckers like this guy right here. Have to cook for themselves. Fool. Alright, so... It is currently 8 p.m. I think, and I'm done for the day working. So we just come home, wait for the rest of the team to get here so we can make dinner and we chill in the meantime. But I would very much rather be at home cuddling with my ladies. Saluda la raza. So when I mean everything, I mean everything. Right now I'm getting like all the little decorations and stuff because I'll put them up for sale as well, like super cheap, like two, three dollars, just so that they go, right? Because I hate throwing things away. And plus every dollar counts. Just gonna sell everything, everything, you guys, everything. The TV, the couches, the loofahs, Victoria's little ball pit, everything in Victoria's room, literally everything. So whatever will fit in our car, you guys have seen our car, our SUV. The trunk isn't that bad, isn't that big. So just whatever fits in there is all we're gonna take. So yeah, I think honestly, the only things we're gonna bring is maybe Victoria's clothes from when she was a baby so that we can use it for the next baby. Other than that, I think just clothes is all we're gonna need. It's a mess right now because I'm like trying to get everything out, but we're just selling everything. So if you guys live in the Seattle area and you want some good deals, <laughs> Let me know in the comments because we are literally selling everything you see. Now the question is, are you going to help me? Hey, are you? Tita. Tita? That's Spanish for cobija. She, she calls them titas. A tita? Tita? I honestly don't even know where to start, you guys. I just... It's so much stuff. It's actually not that much, but... So let's just let's just get into it. Get into it. things at a time so everything that was in the table I took pictures of and everything in that little corner as you can see all the pictures I'll start uploading them on offer up and then I think I'm gonna do Victoria's room next yeah well I already am getting a lot of messages <laughs> it's kind of sad getting rid of all these things because I've had a lot of these for a long time but it is what it is 
just materialistic things. They come and go. And she's over there eating her lunch or making a mess. <laughs> this is actually quite overwhelming because of all the, <laughs> like every time I go on offer up, I feel like people overprice things. Like almost, they almost put it to the price of what they bought it for. And for me, it's like they're used, you know, I'm not gonna sell it for that price. That's why they never sell them. So all my shit is like $5, $12. I think the most expensive thing I have is Victoria's activity table. That one right there. I put that one for $50. Just because at Target, new, that one's $150. So that's $100 off, which I think is a pretty good deal. Now she's eating a pear. <laughs> Why are you eating it that way, though? You're going to get the stem. You like this. Oh my gosh, she's all full of spaghetti. Ew. <laughs> All right, so the messages just keep flooding. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do Victoria's room. Oh, this makes me so sad because I feel like I put a lot of love into this room, but I know I can redo it over there. Oh, I don't want to sell this one. This is, I don't even know if they sell this swan anymore. They used to sell it on Amazon, but they don't have it anymore, so. Okay, so someone's coming for all of this and I already have the desk chair and the desk ready because someone's taking them as well. <sighs> It actually feels good selling all this stuff. Not gonna lie. The messages just keep coming. They don't stop. I have everything set up now. And I'm super pregnant. It's gonna be a challenge, but... But it is what it is. And we will do this. So they're gonna be here in like an hour or so. It is... What time is it? I started everything at 4. It's 7.20. I already sold all that stuff that was in the hallway. It's getting empty in here. I feel accomplished. Hey, you guys. It's a lot later at night. Um, Now I'm going to put the whole bedroom for sale. I'm selling this thing too. Someone wants to pick it up tomorrow. So I have to try and learn. And I did it, you guys. I forgot to vlog it. But I figured out this thing. I've never in my life used one of these. I don't even know what it's called. But I have to unscrew it from here because it's screwed on. I'm honestly really proud of myself. Me being alone is making me have to use my brain a little bit. Because usually I'll be like, oh, Enrique, do this. Oh, Enrique, do that. Like, you figure this out and this out. I've had to figure out a lot of stuff on my own now that Enrique is gone. So... I think it's good. Maybe this break was good for us after all, for um, growing more individually. Cause I feel like we've been together for so long and we've depended on each other for certain things. Enrique is saying how he has to cook all the time over there now. And he just has to fend for himself. And I have to kind of do all the man work now too. So. Hey everyone, what's up? It's me checking in. Sorry for the echo. The house is empty. As you can see, there's really nothing in here. Other than, I guess, a few stools. I wanted to check in with you guys because everyone left. And that's because once a week or once every other week, they uh, go down to Brownsville. And the house is kind of dirty. And I don't want to be just, you know, by myself two or three days with a dirty house. So I'm going to clean because uh, there's no crane in here. It goes to show how, how much I don't clean. <laughs> So, yeah, I already washed the dishes. I cooked earlier, now it's my time to clean. As I started cleaning, I heard a knock on the door. It was half of the team coming back to cook lunch before actually leaving, effectively undoing what I had just done. Yikes. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Clean, that's when they well, I got here as I was finished cleaning, so now that's dirty again. And I guess they wash the dishes, but you know, so I'm gonna have to clean again. I'm okay with that. What about you, Victoria? <laughs> You're the same, you don't care. <laughs> now, watch me whip, watch me, you guys. I'm so proud. harder than the 
other side. It's like it knew that I was trying to show off to you guys. Ooh, got it! Yay! Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. Now I just have to get all of Enrique's clothes out of here because this was just Enrique's drawer. I've been wanting to sell this since we moved into this apartment because obviously it doesn't go with our bedroom, but Enrique the hoarder he is he was like no don't sell it like it still works like i know it still works but it's all about the feng shui i've always wanted to have a bedroom that like matches and is super cute and we've never actually had that and i'm glad we're finally gonna start from zero now and i'm glad we got finally got rid of this thing so there we go it's gone and all enrique's clothes and i went ahead and i took it over here and that's a big bag of clothes my clothes that i'm getting away giving away too so much to sell i gotta sell this thing as well everything this mirror that i love okay so it's 12 o'clock <clears throat> oh my voice is raspy i'm getting tired i guess they're gonna come and take the shoe rack tomorrow as well got to get all this stuff out of the way and clean it i'm just gonna clean that shoe rack and then i think i'm gonna go to sleep and continue tomorrow because i'm pretty exhausted from doing all of that honestly good morning everybody i went to sleep in that same dress because i was really tired i have a lot of people coming in today and picking more stuff up so we got this cute little kitty painting going to a new home oh my gosh do you guys remember the vlog where enrique and i bought this I got my fresh new stack here of stuff that people are taking. I just keep adding. So someone actually offered me more money for this mirror, $110. So I am ignoring all the low ballers. Update, it's now 404, dumb fart, that's Enrique. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all these things were supposed to be sold already. I hate when this happens. I set things aside for people and they say they're gonna come a certain time and then they don't. So now I'm getting like flooded with more messages and offer with these items saying, oh, can I buy it? And I gotta wait for the next people. I mean, I told them, I'm only gonna put them on hold for you today. Like if you don't pick them up, um, I'm just gonna sell them because I have stuff to do. I actually wanted to go out today. I didn't just wanna be here waiting for people to come and pick stuff up. So right now someone's picking this up. You guys like my outfit? <laughs> my big robe. Well, it's actually Enrique's. Um, this is actually not heavy from what I remember. It's kind of heavy actually, but I just have to push it. The elevator's literally right in front of me, so... It looks so empty here now in the entrance! Oh my god! <laughs> Enrique's Hugh Hefner slippers. Okay, so yeah, the elevator is literally right there. I just have to put in the elevator. I go down to the garage and then the person will be there. And it's a man, so he'll be able to load that up himself. So not bad for a seven month pregnant woman. I just realized I'm talking really loud. And <laughs> probably awkward if someone heard me. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave that out there for now. I don't think anybody will steal it. I just, I wanna have one foot forward, you know? have everything ready. Let me see if they texted yet. Okay, so I'm on offer up. <laughs> so this woman's gonna stop by for a lot of things actually. I think she had like a major, <laughs> a major typo. She's like, where around the vaginitis is a deal to stop that? <laughs> oh my God. I, I'm assuming she meant like where around the apartments. I don't know why it would change it to vaginitis though. That's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> she got in there a dead body. Okay, now I have to go ahead and move this to the elevator. Someone's finally picking it up. It's seven o'clock. I wanted to go out and eat with Victoria some pho or something, but these people, they aren't true to their word on when they're coming. So annoying. She's got the pink sunglasses, high heels, don't know I think that's it for selling for today. Tomorrow I have more people picking stuff up, but I'm hungry. I'm out of groceries yet again. And I just don't feel like cooking. Like that kind of wore me out. <laughs> that was pretty heavy. So I think Victoria and I are gonna go have some fun. Show everybody how you keep your skin so beautiful and youthful.
everybody it's the third day of selling things and i think i'm just gonna cut it here and i'm not gonna sell more things until it's closer to the date which is november 30th because i also don't want to have an empty apartment so i have my last load of things going right now so a couple people <clears throat> are gonna stop by today to take all of this let's just hope they're true to their word so i don't have to be here all freaking day because I'm kind of over being at home three days now without going out. Well, I guess we went to pho, but you know what I mean. It'll be time to sell all the big stuff and I'll make a separate video when we get rid of all the big stuff. So right now, what I have to do is take these two bags of crap to the car, which is gonna be challenging. And I have to go drop off my boat, and I have to go do grocery shopping. So we got a lot to do. right now because I've just been so busy. I haven't even had time to pamper myself today. You're gonna take that one? Okay. Okay, so apparently Goodwill was closed. Well, the donation was closed. <laughs> I'm putting Victoria because I look bad right now. <laughs> so the donation place was closed. So I have to go back on Monday. It's Saturday today. So Monday between 8 and 2 p.m. So that's okay. And then for now, we're gonna go to Sprouts. Usually we go to TJ Maxx, but we're close to Sprouts. Sprouts is kind of fancy actually, so I hope it's not that expensive, but what do you think, Victoria? <laughs> we getting fancy without Papa. <laughs> so, so far this grocery store is super fancy. And nice and clean and a lot cheaper. I don't know if it's coincidence that I came when everything's on discount, but it's a lot cheaper than Trader Joe's. And I like the vibe better. They have a lot more options. Very healthy options. We just got back from Sprouts. I love that store, honestly. I think I'm gonna start going there. All of this was $90 on the dot, $90. Well, with some sense, but I feel like that is an incredibly good deal considering everything that I bought. I don't know, maybe got, where you guys live, things are a lot cheaper, but this was a really good deal. And I <laughs> I went crazy with these like weird items because they have so many things that you don't see at other stores, so I just wanted to try them. I'm most excited for these because I love cookie dough. And when you're pregnant, you can't have raw egg, so this does not have raw egg. But yeah, we got a lot of yummy things to make some yummy meals with. Yay! <laughs> okay guys, it's the fourth day now. They finally took this whole wall of stuff. Remember my mirror? This is super empty. Um, I'm gonna sell these rug necks. I found them and yeah, they're so good, so. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog there. So yeah, I'll do another one of these videos once we're closer to the date, which is November 30th, and then we'll really get to selling and getting rid of everything. So yeah, if you're in the Seattle area again, like don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm selling things for super affordable prices. Um, we're just trying to get rid of everything as soon as we can. Yeah, thanks again so much for all your wonderful comments. I love reading them. Thank you for all your guys' video suggestions. Um, I got a lot of good ideas, so I'm excited to make some more videos. I was actually kind of stressed because I was like, what am I going to vlog about? What am I going to do? But you guys gave me some good ideas, so I have a few videos planned. I'm going to try to upload at least one cooking video a week for you guys. That's for sure. So stay tuned for that. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.